Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to swap my summer 20s with my 19s winter set. Yes, it's about that time of the year. So let's go and let's get started. Perfect. to do a lot of the things on your car yourself then this is one of the job that you probably will have to do sometimes which is changing tire either because you have a flat or because you just want to set your winter tires or your summer tires depending on the season now to do that is pretty simple i'm pretty sure you already know but there are some people watching that do not know so i have to explain for those guys you need a trusted jack you need this plug because that's what goes actually under the car on the jacking point and then once you have that, you can go ahead and jack up the car as easy as this. And once the car is jacked up enough, you use your impact gun or whatever comes with your car to remove the wheels, swap them and put the new one. Let me show you how that is done pretty quick. I'm going to make it fast forward well, with the magic of editing. This is the rear tire. As you can see, I removed that. You saw the clip earlier. Now, as you can see here, this is a winter set. This is fairly new. I purchased this one last year, and this is still almost brand new because I don't think I even drove a thousand miles with this one last year. Now, this is a Michelin Pilot Sport 4SS, and this one is the Michelin Pilot Alpine. You can see the treads are very different. Summer, winter, and you can see this is 265 that one is 285 well you can see that this one is the one on the front right there which is the summer one is a little wider although this one looks like they might be the same but trust me in person you can clearly see that this one is wider than that all right so let me go ahead and now and mount this on the back here i also will have to change this spacer for my winter set i usually like to run 15 millimeter spacers all around so when you have good spacers they come with these little things where you can insert easily a screwdriver to push it if i come around this corner i have one right here i can do that as you can see and it becomes so much easier to remove the spacer that way and that's it almost off there you go this was a 10 millimeter mesh nail now i'm gonna go ahead and take my 15 millimeter burger tuning before mounting i like to usually clean a little bit the area and when you have wheel stud it's so much easier to mount spacers or anything like that so all you do is find the holes and bam that's it you can hit it a little bit with a rubber mallet just to make sure it's all the way in as you can see and that's it now time to put the tire back on that's it now let's go ahead and repeat the same step on the front replace the front wheel with the winter here and then call it a day for this side this is the front side that's a 265 and this is a 255 width you can clearly see the difference first in the tread pattern for the soft compound here compared to the summer compound right here winter summer and you can see definitely wider that's why you want wider wheels for the summer because on summer you know you're doing a lot of cornering and whatnot but for winters it's not about that life so let's go ahead and mount these again with my trusted 15 millimeter spacers on the front i'm going to replace the 12 that i had there with this 15 and mount this so i'm going to go ahead and show you when everything is mounted same process as doing on that side same thing i'm going to do back here i dropped the car and here is the finished product for this side as you can see that 265 40 19 definitely 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 had a fat meaty tires as you can see and that 437 m's man look at how concave it is i love it i love it always sitting flush as you can see one finger going through 15 millimeter spacers i haven't talked it to spec yet and the specs when you talk these as is 109 foot pound and here on the front you can see it seems like i need to add air so i'm definitely going to do that first thing before i take it on the drive 
and this is the blizzard 255 35 19 15 spaces you can see i have a lot more wheel gap right here man and this tommy l garage definitely going to have in the snow season yeah lovely 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 let me go ahead and do the other side and then move the car front and back so that the height can adjust properly all right guys i am done i swap all sides all four corners so as you can see here the wheel is looking so 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 nice here 437 pair with some winter rubber on the front here as you can see yes i have to put air on this tire but it is definitely looking nice and my car sits even lower on the front than before as you can see here so i'm definitely going to be in trouble here when i drive this car around on the other side you can see here looking looking lovely man i love it i love it i love it guys so let me know if you think that it will be a good idea to actually place this set on the e46 as winter although this is an all season tire i believe the one that i have right here is a summer tire so i'm thinking about placing this because i just don't want to go ahead and buy another set of winter tires when i have already three set of tires that's a lot of money and i think that um, you know i can just drive with this around winter time the e46 has the factory wheels which also has all season tires for summer i use these apex right here for the f80 I use the BBS and I want to use the VMR for summer. So I'm thinking that I want to place this on the e E46. So drop a comment below and let me know if you think that this is a great idea. The purpose of this video was just for me to show you that if you own an M3 coupe or sedan, you can use that car all year long. I know a lot of people like to park their car. The reason sometimes I park money because, well, I have three of them and I try to drive them all week long. but right now what i have to do is make sure that i change the tires to make sure that i have you know good grip whenever it's winter so if you have the right set of tire you can drive these cars all year long for summer spring and fall you can use summer tires but for winter you have to have winter rubber because if you do not you will be that guy on the side of the dish you know when everyone is driving because summer tires do not perform well on winter this is what you want to have a winter rubber now because i just like to swap things quickly i actually purchased a second set that's why i have two sets for each car but you don't have to do that if you want to be on the cheaper side what you can do is just purchase winter rubber whenever the time comes you take it to a mechanic they swap only the tire to the same wheel that you have now, if you want to do things on your own and save a little bit of money, you can invest by a second set of tires or um, wheels and just mount it the way I did now. Yeah, man. Car is looking lovely. Oh, definitely dirty. Have to wash it. As you can see right here, you have this GTS style tail light. Oh, making this car look so gorgeous. I'll definitely love this car. I love this car. And, and I don't know why I'm trying to sell the E36. But yeah, it's just because it's, it's, it's too much. It's too much. I love them all. I love them all. All right, guys, this is it, man. I need to go and drive this car so I can put air on that tire and then check the TPMS, make sure that it is set with these because I also have TPMS installed on this so that I can, you know, know when to add air and whatnot and then, you know, park the car and drive the E36 to work today because, yes, I drove this car yesterday, so I cannot drive this today. That's why I want to drive that one see you guys again thank you for watching see you guys on the next video bye bye